No, it's because I missed Polka earlier today and I didn't get triggered by a pickle. Ooh, so we can say it now. I, did, I uh, didn't I really get that, triggered just now. But, um, <laughs> well, hello there, viewer. If you're here for our Penguin Drum reaction, so welcome back. And if you're new here, then... Uh, yeah, Kiwi's currently dying in the background, but that's okay. Because we're here to watch Night on the Galactic Railroad. A very, very old movie that came out in 1985. And why we're watching this is because, as I mentioned, we finished Penguin Jump, which you can actually check out this old, in the this, link. This old, this movie is older than us. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. Also, top right corner if you want to watch combined. Penguin Jump, but yeah. Anyways, um, I work with professional YouTubers who like to cut me off when I'm doing my intro, so this is something <laughs> that you guys should definitely like and subscribe for, by the way. Ew, ew suck a cock. <sighs> Also, yeah, Kiwi sorry, has I ticks. I have, I have ticks, yes. yeah. And, so and she's I'm, going to say random me, outlandish stuff. <laughs> yeah, and if you hear me dying <laughs> by... If you, if you hear me <laughs> dying in the background... Um, if, it's because I um, am unable to breathe currently. <laughs> yes, uh, and she is a, a um. And she likes to um a lot. So, I'm good job. <laughs> By the way, uh, we are in reaction channel that does full timer reactions because YouTube you hates us. Tell. <laughs> yes. We are reactors. <laughs> yeah, yeah we are very we're reactors. real life reactors. We're definitely not anime mm -hmm. reacting to anime. That's yeah. kind of a meta thing we now. That the, I think about it. We are the cultured. We are the cultures. Of the what? We're the culture oh, so, anime characters so that react to anime. Open up, open up your own tab. <laughs> open some... up a copy of the movie. Yeah, if, well, if you can find a copy of the movie, and uh, yeah. <laughs> take it up with a timer that's going to appear within Kiwi's hands at the end of my countdown. Yes, yes. So it's in my hands. Now that all of that is over, let's begin. I'm going to start oh, yeah. the anime. I've never seen this movie. <laughs> None of us right. have. None of us have. This is we're way before any of birds. us were born. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're always blind as birds. We haven't seen or heard of this anime. Birds are blind. Usually it, we say bats, but sure. <laughs> also, birds have very keen eyesight, if you don't know. But anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> that backfired. I'm going to start the movie. In five, four, three, two, one. Harold. If you couldn't tell, all of our comedy is scripted. That totally was uh -huh. yeah, improv. <clears throat> Tickle what pickle, bitches. Uh, that yeah. is an example of a tick, by the way, if you're new here. <laughs> Good thing this is an educational movie. Yeah, it's Truly. a good thing that we can fuck pickles. <laughs> what? Oh, no! no. <laughs> <laughs> I uh. didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say that. I'm sorry. That wasn't a tick, though. That was no, it you. wasn't. I was thinking about pickles <laughs> and educational movies, and that's what came out. That's not what I wanted to say. <laughs> sure. What? Why do why do you not believe me? I don't know, Kimi. I'll just leave you to do whatever you want to do. But uh I I can already tell from the audio quality that this is this was made before we were born. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is uh, uh we could probably recognize this on AMQ. My my my, my mom and dad were we never turned on this movies. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, we that's don't. True. That just confuses <laughs> us way too much. We're not that far yet. We first have to be able to guess everything on endings and openings when we play normally before we can even think about going to movies. <laughs> My drop this was is just very... too much of a foil. <laughs> this is a very long intro. It is a lot of credits. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you start at the end? It's old. <laughs> yeah, it's this old. is the end. Detective, the detective I like how it just Conan. keeps showing this white dot. Detective Conan it's, is the same at the beginning. Detective Conan. All it's, the a, 
It's a pale dot. <clears throat> oh yeah, uh, reduce your volume a little, Servi. Um, I can hear myself sometimes. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Again. We all have professional allowed, recording equipment, by the way. Not allowed to go above very high. That didn't make sense. What exactly is this dot? What does it I represent? A full stop? A period? Maybe it's that's maybe our it's one the same as it is in maybe it's the same as it is in the beginning of Silent Voice. <laughs> mm. That that is our singular brain cell trying hard to grasp what's happening. Or maybe it's a headlight, you know, <laughs> in on the sea. The thing that kind of oh. does and lights a little bit. Oh. Noctor de la Galaxia per Vocho. <laughs> is that a JoJo's reference? <laughs> yes. The answer Wait, is yes. I did this did uh, did uh, 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 pickles? Uh, this come before Jojo? Uh, I'll have to fact check that. I'll check it later. Because it doesn't really have any relevance to why we're watching this. <laughs> Astronomy class. No, I'm saying I that wonder why it's educational. It wasn't... Like, then, then I'm not... Then I, uh, this background's uh, cute. What I'm saying is... uh. Then it's not a JoJo reference. Then JoJo, re the, uh, okay, I will, I will give you're, up. You're uh, thinking really hard on this one. It's okay. <laughs> it's <laughs> just a joke, Huey. It's okay. Don't worry about it. My 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 ticks keep on interrupting me whenever I try to say it. Well, then Design. yeah, we can move on. <laughs> just let your ticks yeah, interrupt I'll, I'll you, just, and we'll I'll just, just stop. I'll just, I'll just give up. <laughs> <laughs> A life lesson, really. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Whatever you can't do something, just give up. up. I'm not yeah, going to lie, this camera's making me a little motion. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, they had to add some, like, dynamic movement to, like, a still shot, so. Yeah. Whoa. It's an old okay. movie. You can't now. expect much from it. You can't expect much from it. <laughs> It just inspired a ton of other medias. Then, <laughs> uh, language drum. I mean, which is a very, very story good anime wise. Series. Story wise, not animation wise. You know. Well, they're all adorable. What? This is a JoJo's reference. It's Giorno Giovanni. Scary <laughs> <laughs> <Kitty> chickens. <laughs> what? I love how he said Campanella. <laughs> huh? Cats have dogs. What? <laughs> is this <laughs> is this slavery? <laughs> what? I feel insulted. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, Q. You're my dog. You're not a cat's dog. <laughs> what? Maybe, maybe you are actually a cat and you don't know about it. <laughs> sure. Okay. You're floating in a sea of milk. 
The Milky Way. I love how they're just whispering very loudly. I think the cat wants him to hear. <laughs> Their teacher's just naked. <laughs> I was going to say, like, this is indecent, but, you know, <laughs> I, I wanted to have, like, a serious reaction. Their clothes. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Wait a minute. Well, some of them are naked. <laughs> some of them are clothed and some of oh, them are Oh, this is inconsistent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, some of the clothed ones don't have, like, those little sparkly lines on them. Maybe, like, they're furry kind of cats and the really thin haired kind of cats. And the thin haired ones have to wear clothes. Like Batman in the winter. He has to wear a little yeah. coat. Otherwise, he loses all of his body heat when he pees. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you imagine the actual Batman, where that's not what we're talking about. Servi's <laughs> dog. His name is Batman. <laughs> No, <laughs> he's a Pomeranian. So when we refer to Batman, we're usually talking about Serbi's dog. <laughs> if you want to make sure the other Batman, though, power to you. <laughs> Crab specimen. Is he like an adventurer? Granda. It's Italian. Ah. Mm. Mm. That's what you order when you go to Starbucks. Giovanni's very cute. I like him. I will add him to my bean collection. <laughs> I recognize his voice actor. I'm fairly certain that his voice actor would have a very different voice at this point in time. <laughs> no, type. Hmm. Giovanni's voice actress is Mayumi Tanaka. Oh, it's Luffy's VA. I love Thank her. Oh. He's adorable. I was, I was thinking like, who do I recognize this voice from? It sounded really familiar. It's Luffy. I see. She is such a funny guess, voice actress. I love her so much. <laughs> I guess the timing is is right to be like the beginning of One Piece. This is before One Piece even started. Yeah. You deliver newspapers, right? I actually love the art direction for this so far. Adorable cats, mm. of course.
I can't really say what it reminds me of. Yeah, I can't either. Mm. The old printing press blocks where you had to put each letter. Yeah, it took me a second to realize what those were. <laughs> mm -hmm. I remember a little bit of history class. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my day, we used keyboards. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That looks like the telephone from Splatoon 2. I was thinking that looks like a really loud face, but that works as well. I mean, in Splatoon 2, it is his face, so... <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> I feel like I remember like older movies like to do this just to set the atmosphere and just have really like silent shots and just atmospheric noise in the background. Mm. Mm. I'm trying to think of what movie. I I wanted to say Spirited Away. I actually um, thought Spirited Away too for a second. Because I think there was this one section where she was like working on an engineering group. I don't think if it was Spirited where Away. Where the weird spider guy is. That's what it makes me think of. Oh yeah, 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 that one. Yeah, but it wasn't it wasn't really all the time because there were like those little uh ash orbs that were making sounds while they were moving. Mm. Yeah, because Spirited Away is a newer movie. So I think visually they just made like, improvements. It reminds yeah. me of it a little. I'm thinking of Princess Kaguya. I'm thinking the Princess Kaguya also did this. Mm. I haven't seen that one yet. Same here. Oh, that's a shame. It's a really, really good movie. <laughs> it's one I've been meaning to check out. But, like, I haven't seen Silent Voice yet either, so I'm behind on anime movies. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> <I know. laughs> What's this little running animation? <laughs> I love it though. Thank you. Like he doesn't tilt his body forward. He just. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this this actually reminds me of some sort of like perspective artwork. Um. Yeah, I love these like backgrounds so far. They're super like. Stylized, I guess it looks like a children's book, which I, I suppose it kind of is. Going for. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like this shot, like it's definitely is, um reminds me of some old American cartoons. I I want to say Disney movies, but I don't remember if they were Disney movies. I have, I, have I don't like remember Sleeping Beauty vibes. Almost the artwork, I feel like because uh, Sleeping Beauty kind also of like, is kind of stylized it feels and whimsical. It, to me, I kind of agree on the on the sleep on the Sleeping Beauty, but I'm also thinking like Snow White or maybe uh, maybe even like a little really bit of Disney. yeah, of or, uh, uh, even a bit of Cin bitch, bitch, la, bitch, la, bitch, la, bitch, la, uh, <laughs> Cinderella. Mm. I I think Sleeping Beauty just because it was very geometric, kind of. I mean, I guess that makes sense. But yeah, all of those older Disney movies. For the Black Railroad. <laughs> He's a very slow walker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It'll take him a while to get there. A cat with a beard is an interesting concept. 
It's sort of like a, a cat with like white oh my god. Whiskers. Pale whiskers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was just cute. That, that was wasn't it. even a turn. <laughs> you didn't take it, but she just wanted to make you feel bad still. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you assume such a thing? <laughs> He has a baguette. Oh, I don't agree with the fly of fly situation right here, please, no. Don't make me cry. Mother's in an never good. I don't think this is a sad movie. I don't think there will be any emotion whatsoever. Yeah, it's obviously a very going to be a very happy ending, very uplifting. Definitely didn't inspire Penguin Drum. <laughs> to be fair, like everything that we're seeing right now might not even be real. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you can hire Fred, you put too much zero. <laughs> Mom is a little bit, no, a lot suspicious. Like, because he can't see her. Yeah. Of course, there's probably a reason why they don't want to show her. She's ugly. Mm, yeah, that's definitely why a director would not show a character. <laughs> <clears throat> can really hear Luffy now. <laughs> yeah, now that we finally know. Like, yeah, it was it's pretty like obvious. It's a younger, sweeter version of Luffy. <laughs> yeah. What's that big hole behind him? That's the fireplace. Fireplace. Yeah, fireplace. I thought that was just like a rat. <laughs> like a rat hole. <laughs> a giant rat hole. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jerry just comes walking out. Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong show. <laughs> Are they bullying you? Not Campanella. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> Runs on what? Alcohol? <laughs> and the centric family has a plate that has like a flying house that runs on alcohol as well. It's true. <laughs> I want to make a joke, but I'm going to not make that joke. <laughs> not gonna lie, I was gonna say, oh, so basically Kiwi's dead. <laughs> no! Oh my god, the flowers, the flowers in the background, aren't they the flowers yes. that represent death? Uh, what kind of I flower are they? I think so. I it's hard to tell when it's an older anime, but I think don't they leave those, those types. Oh. <laughs> don't they Lilies leave those or types? Lilacs? Yeah, I think white lilies are. Wait, I'll Google it. 
A lily. Is a lily the flower of death? Uh, usually the death would be a... What do they call it? A no, it means lily? purity. It means it symbolizes virginity and purity. Often used in Christian weddings. And sometimes called the Madonna White, lily. The, mean, the meaning of the lily flower in Japan, white lilies usually symbolize chastity and purity. Oh, we can see They're an example of this. They're often symbolized in... with funeral services, it says. Mm. That's why they're associated with death. Oh, no, I was throwing white roses on my grandpa, though, when he died. So. I mean, there's no rule that says you have to use. <laughs> yeah. And cultures differ. Mm -hmm. I do know that this movie has a lot of Christian symbolism in it. But. Yeah. Why is your voice so raspy? What? <laughs> also, what was because that? Because he's a little bitch. I was gonna say, you have to know that he's a little shit, so that you have to make it in his voice, too. Is your father going to bring you another otter skin coat? <laughs> okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to regret this because I can't already breathe, but... <clears throat> no, is your father going to bring you another skin coat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, pickle. What? Why did the lights just double? Honey? <laughs> Huh? Excuse me? <laughs> what do you say, Ghost Giovanni? <laughs> that interaction was really strange. Also, <laughs> um, are, are those the hyenas from The Lion King? Who's doing <laughs> the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is everybody going to board the train or something? He's like, oh, oh there is a festival. <laughs> there is a festival, I believe, going on in town. I think the oh, show God. might have something to do with time. This is giving me anxiety. I think. You existing gives you anxiety, Huey, from what I can yeah. tell. <laughs> I like the idea that space is milk. I don't like the idea that space is milk because I don't have any milk tolerance. You <laughs> call it milk tolerance. <laughs> I love how Kiwi calls it milk tolerance. <laughs> I mean, I can't drink any milk, but I can eat anything that has milk in it, so it's a milk tolerance that I lack, you know? The, why did that dude just bump into him? He was right in front of him. That question will never be answered. <laughs> what is that sound in the background? Someone grinding oh. my brain. I actually can't it, tell. One second. Let me adjust my, my volume. Teeth. It's so low. My teeth. My teeth hurt me because of this. <laughs> I think you were go I thought you were gonna say a very different word. <laughs> what? I hate this. This is stupid. <laughs> I actually just noticed that the aspect ratio isn't white. 1920? Okay. No. It's not square either, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's not widescreen. It's just... An aspect it ratio. It is a strange aspect ratio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mushroom house. 
I did not think that when I saw it. <laughs> that was not the thing that I thought about when I saw it. It looks like a funny little mushroom. But, yeah, but something else looks like a funny little mushroom. This one is thick, though. <laughs> hey, what it likes in life, it makes up in girth. <laughs> That sounds horrible. <laughs> Wait, why did you randomly just come up here? Do you know what you're doing here? He had to get milk for his mom. Yeah. Um, this... Don't you know this, you get milk from funny mushroom houses on the hill? This seems more like a Something horror movie. Four legs. What the hell? See, I told you. You get your milk from the funny little mushroom house on the hill. What is that? It's a cat wearing a cape. It's a sad cat. No one's here right now. <laughs> I am not here. <laughs> Goodbye. Needs her milk. <laughs> I mean, the father is missing. She has to get this from somewhere. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you suggesting, Huey? <laughs> My brain was like, I. What? I don't understand. <laughs> what is this? What was tea? The cross on the town. Oh. Comes. Oh. This is fun. Was someone playing a fish? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're banging on a fish. <laughs> they're cats, baby. Of course they're banging on fish. <laughs> Actually, that makes a lot more sense. Also, did they say that this was the Centaurus Festival? Yeah. Just to celebrate a constellation? Yeah, yeah. Been, did that say man ball? <laughs> what is what is your obsession with otter skin coats? Exp maybe they're an expensive accessory in this world. Yeah. I think they're just alluding to the fact that his father isn't here and they're making yeah. fun of him for it. Mm -hmm. I see. Running against the grain. I was going to say, we've seen a lot of shots of Giovanni going against the crowd. Yeah. With the background jiggled. <laughs> Look at his surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> All right. Classic. Most Crossing over time. a bridge. That's often a sign for like departure. Death. Yeah. yeah. He has moved on into another world. Giovanni has <laughs> been isekai. They're very ball-like trees. <laughs> it's a world. <laughs> Subian balls. <laughs> Not if they are, though. <laughs> I bet you Serbia wants to sit on them. <laughs> but how would you? <laughs> I don't know, you have to figure that out by yourself, Serby. There's <laughs> a lot of white lilies again. Oh, oh. What? what was that? It's a giant it's a bird? bird? Oh my <laughs> fucking god, this is a 0 out of 10 movie. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, if you guys don't know, Kiwi has a bird phobia. 
the more he goes forward, the lesser the trees there are. What, there what is path is this leading trees. to? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't Kovodeska Nanika, alright. <laughs> also, the audio balancing here is very, very bad. All of a sudden, it got so incredibly loud. <laughs> the sound effects are louder than the voices a lot, too. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. It's an old movie. I'll forgive it. Yeah, you can see it's age. Oh. <laughs> like, with this face. Look oh, at all that milk. To know what this oh, is. Boy. What? What? <laughs> I guess I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> when I said that Kiwi says outlandish things sometimes, and so we added in, and sometimes she ticks, uh, that has never been more true. <laughs> Alright, turn the volume back up. Okay, good. I like the painting Ghost Giovanni face. Yeah. <laughs> His face doesn't change much throughout the whole movie. It's all surprised Pikachu. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do they bully you? Oh, Campanella does it. <laughs> this is the result of bullying. Someone tried to erase the stars, but they didn't do a very good job. <laughs> they didn't realize that they could have just increased the size of their eraser tool. Mm. And because this is old and they were trying all of this on paper. I hate this. It's giving me anxiety. I believe it's doing its job, then. How can it give you something you already have? Well, you Actually, know, there's true. film Whoa, is... what? Nani? Whoa. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, that was a really that. loud sound effect. <laughs> it, 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 uh, oh. Oh, Goodbye, it's Thomas the Tank Engine. Goodbye, Joanne. I mean, Kiwi was right, it's gonna rail him. <laughs> okay, turn the volume back up. <laughs> Good, you didn't hear the chocolates in me. I'll have to hear it during editing, anyways. But. <laughs> Welcome to the I Polar Express. <laughs> I wonder if the Polar Express was inspired by this too. <laughs> Who knows? Well, I wonder if Thomas the Tank Engine was inspired by this. Just enters the train. Oh, okay. I think I know. This was referenced uh, Night of the Galactic Railroad. I cannot say the word. Railroad. <laughs> 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 I love it. <laughs> it's referenced in Act Age because there is a play referencing this, basically. Well, scenes inside of trains is. Thing. No, uh, you'll see, you'll see. I think that I know how kind of this will turn off. Up, off, off. What? Nani? Oh, what? yeah, okay. I know how it will turn out. I know how it will turn out. And Vanilla just randomly comes out of nowhere. Okay, yeah, I will not spoil you. This will the be very, very sad. did re like, reference it. I see. Did you read, uh, did you read to this part, Serbi? Huh? I've never did read Act Age. 
I'm just on the wiki page of uh, Night at the Galactic Railroad. It says the manga yeah. acted the main character Yonagi K. No, don't uh, read. Don't read. You'll spoil yourself. You'll spoil yourself. Formed a theater play version of the story. Yeah. Okay, so don't, don't 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 read what happens. That's all it says. I <laughs> Those doesn't matter. The read. You'll spoil yourself. Can you just stop and just <laughs> focus on what's happening, Jesus? <laughs> what a map is what that? What? Map. <laughs> One there, boo? Pretty sure that's supposed to be two. <laughs> he just just jump scare in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> also, since Capanella just randomly appeared all the darkness, I think Capanella might be a spirit. Uh, what? I don't know. Maybe this is all just part of what uh, Giovanni's uh, imagination. I mean, he says the fields of heaven. What? Are we all just dead now? <laughs> Campanella got all dressed up for this. Wait, doesn't his outfit look like the outfit that uh, Kanba wore at the ending? Yeah, Kanda. it does. Well, I mean, Kamba does kind of represent Campanella. I think uh, I know. the design I just, is pretty much... His looks a lot like it. <laughs> yeah. Minus the cat ears. <laughs> I spoiled myself on the Night of Galactic Rail Road even before actually watching the movie by reading Octage. Damn it. The sadness. The <laughs> sadness. We spoiled ourselves on the main plot points by watching Penguin Drum already. It's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a people ask section that just says, Is Night at the Galactic Railroad sad? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this alien triangle spaceship thing? What? <laughs> Aliens. I just think of the meme. Aliens. <laughs> huh? What exactly did you do? It's almost like you got a mysterious train in the middle of the night that's heading off to somewhere that you don't know. Oh. <laughs> also pretty sure that trains don't move this way. But... I think he's imagining it because like, at first like, wow, that house just showed up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no, <laughs> it's doing that thing where ghosts it to be like, oh, I'm thinking about it. I see. Classic technique. Hmm? He's in the restroom, but my god, he wasn't talking. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 
Did they just show somebody drowning? Oh, I did not. Did Campanella drown? Huh? Oh, hello, people. Where did you guys come from? Because, like, for some reason, I feel like the train itself just seems more like a transportation to the afterlife. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, perfect timing? <laughs> okay, I, I see you. I see you. Could be anything, really. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Campanella drowned, but somehow our boy uh, Giovanni found himself on this train. Um, I mean, we're not really sure if he's dead as well, or if he just somehow got onto this train. I should after this, uh, a train killed him when it ran him over. I should go and reread the well, Act kind of Eight ironic. chapters. I should go and reread Act Eight chapters that are basically just this to play. I'm gonna see you after I understand everything. Yeah, I think this uh, is based on a novel, and this is an adaptation of the novel. But I think this is the most famous adaptation of it, to my mm -hmm. understanding. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, that's not English. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, trying look. to read it. I'm like, that's just gibberish. I can't. The rapture happened. Historio. <gasps> Attack on Titan reference? Yeah, that's the name of Historia's kid. <laughs> Historia. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna make Historia. I think that's a pretty normal sized door for it you guys. It looks like a standard door, yeah. Well, maybe it's a little short. Perfect for me. <laughs> what is... Oh. what? Well, that stairway goes down. <laughs> Are we really sure we want to do this? Wow. A... <laughs> like, when you see, like, Photos of uh, proof of alien existence. There's always that one triangle spaceship. And that's basically mm -hmm. that. I can see why Ikuhara would like this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read that. It's a La Pelosina. <laughs> I read it as La Placenta. <laughs> placenta. Sure. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Wait. Yeah, the steps that go, go down, down to the river? Uh, we did just see somebody drowning. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Bones? King. I keep on thinking Knight of the Galactic Railroad, and I keep on saying things as I, sh as I should have known. Uh. Stardust? Look at his little bean. <laughs> Hello, beans. These yeah, that's just a spine. Bones. That's what the building said. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no, he's about to jump. A walnut? Why is a walnut here of all places? In the sand. That's where Walnut Inside came. of a <laughs> giant beast that died? Are they? <laughs> Are you an archaeologist? <laughs> it looks Wait, like isn't that teacher. just a teacher? Yeah. Oh, this... <laughs> you gotta use a megaphone. <laughs> it's an old walnut. <laughs> I'm pretty sure at that point it would be a rock. Do I have pants or just a belt? I think he's just got a belt. <laughs> a Voss? The ancestors of cows. What is a walking animation? <laughs> I don't know. I love how we didn't ask any questions like what what you're doing here, where are we, what is this place? It's just a big giant cow. Oh, now we're. Oh shit. Sure. Just looks like a Iroh Castle after the time skip in Ocarina of Time. Yes, when things get old, they all turn to stone. That's how that works. 
Yes. I mean, judging from how many stairs they just ran up, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have a pretty good like workout. Their legs are gonna be in shape to not be just completely out of breath. (laughs) Yeah. No, he took the walnut. <clears throat> the oh, nut. He took the walnut to the wa- rail lord. What? <laughs> 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 Me not being able to say my art shouldn't be a joke. Damn it. Well, so much for the nut. <laughs> because of that, now I take everything in a really bad way. <laughs> oh kiwi you're gonna love this the bird catcher the hell dude there's so many free seats what I hope that's full of dead birds I hate when I'm sitting in some sort of public transportation and there's like so many open seats and someone goes and sits right next to me. Like, excuse you, why? Yeah. The thing I hate the most is when I, there are a bunch of open seats and then someone else would just stand above me waiting for me to stand up from my seat. That's the worst part. They just really want that seat. Beetle. Juice. Juice? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even say it as a tick. <laughs> oh, wow. That's we really are the same person. For that moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You guys are gonna go to the end of the universe? That would just be nothing. What? I mean, we eat chicken. It just was the way he said it. <laughs> you, yeah. you catch the birds, what do you do with them? I eat them. You eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Did this bird Parents? just fart? The birds are just illuminating mist. What? I don't think herons are a delicacy. What? Uh, that Now that just looks like an ice cream. What? I don't trust him. I don't. You never eat anything that a random stranger gives to you. Unless if it's free candy, no, then God, go with them yeah, wherever no. you want. Unless it's yeah, a dead bird. No. no. That, that's the way to get I would Huey. celebrate it. I would celebrate it that someone has killed a bird. No. Uh, let's stop being a psychopath. Do no. <laughs> This is even more strange. A stranger is offering you free candy. What? Where did you come from? What's that noise? What? Is somebody faxing something? 
Oh, my sister is making popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> My noise suppression is off, that's why I can hear everything. <laughs> Just channeled your inner cane for a second. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just teleported out there. He struggled. <laughs> well, people go to the beach to train, so I understand. It's pretty tough. <laughs> Take me now, birds. I know that's what he's like. Oh, oh my fucking me. god, why? Tell me when this is over. Sir, <laughs> so we He's couldn't ready. handle the toothbrush scene. <laughs> Kiwi can't handle the birds. <laughs> He's already, look at him. The scariest really horror excited. movie I have ever watched was Hitchcock's Birds movie. I hated that movie. I was so terrified. God damn it. Why would you watch it? Because my parents were like, oh, we can prove to you that you don't have a bird phobia by making you watch this movie. I had that nightmares. was a terrible, terrible idea. <laughs> Is it over? No. He's stuffing birds into his bag. You want to see that? No. Also, all the and birds are just flying down and dying. Ground. Yeah. I don't care. Oh, wait, that sounds kind of interesting. Wait. The sand is like eating things. What do herons Oh my represent? god, it's, it's a struggling bird though. Uh, I'll Google it. This guy's just snatching them up and turning them into candy. <clears throat> heron symbolism is important because the heron meaning refers to tranquility and stillness for us humans. The symbolism what? also signifies determination because we are bound to wade through marshes and ponds through life's journey, but we must never give up. Well, the guy that was catching the birds just got Thanos now. <laughs> and he also had like the Metal Gear Solid <laughs> snake dying. So. <laughs> uh. Oh wait, no, he's back. White heron specifically symbolizes independence and wonder of nature, which must check be Japanese against check, check the Japanese meaning. Forces. I can. I feel like this movie is taking a lot of Western influence, yeah. but I th in Japan, in Japan, the white heron is deemed unique for its ability <laughs> to <That's right. laughs> move between three elements: earth. Air and water. Locals hair well, the bird has a symbol of good luck. And so in Japanese it's like nobility and grace and luck. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's the guy that bought the ticket at the beginning of the movie. Okay. No good boys.
Where is he going? This is this I would usually find this boring, but for some reason I'm entranced in this movie. Why is this so? This is very intriguing. <laughs> what it is? It's unique. Like I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. It gets my monkey brain to start firing its neurons. <laughs> Our one brain cells in overdrive. Well, I would hope that being blind doesn't mean that he's also deaf. Wait, what? Yeah, just like when I listen to Serbian Kiwi's audio. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> That's not what he said. <laughs> Cabanella, you failed. Eth <laughs> me still, my song shall be. <laughs> I thought she had a pacifier for a second. The Titanic? <laughs> Excuse me? <clears throat> That's not creepy at all. <laughs> and it's a dark haired cat as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is this place? I love these environments. They're so cool. It's like a city of blocks. Mind that you were going to say it's a city of blobs for some reason. Nope, mm. it's diametrically the opposite of it. <laughs> <laughs> This is actually pretty common, I guess. Uh, like, the city in Tower of Juaga was sort of built like this. Also, the underground city in Code Geass, also built like this. 
since we're going by the Christian undertones of hmm. the show, um, I'm, I'm thinking that it probably represents one of the Christian towns that are set in the Bible because yeah, old... it probably is like I think Jerusalem's architecture might be yeah like Jerusalem or uh, something of that sort is built like this. I'm I pretty see. sure. I'm not Christian. Yeah, it's so pretty I blocky. Know. I mean, in in history, had like those books made for children, which showed the cities as they're drawn, and they looked kind of blocky like this. Mm. And then they used lumps blood to draw lines of. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I would say like Israeli architecture is definitely very blocky looking. I could see that. Mm. Like ancient Israel. I mean, I don't think he even has a ticket. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> He's just there. <laughs> I've always been here. <laughs> here, a crumped up piece of paper. Look at that smug face. Take it, please. You don't have any pockets. Where are you checking? Yeah, Giovanni's not supposed to be here. What? Yes, sir, Charter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, seriously? Well, that's a big ticket. <laughs> How could you not find that huge ass ticket inside your small pocket? I don't think it's a ticket. Whoa, Korewa, Korewa. <laughs> the third of what? Yeah, we're definitely not a train on a train to the afterlife. <clears throat> I don't think you're going oh. where everybody else is going. That was going. such a sad question. <laughs> yeah. True heaven? So he gets to go to the VIP heaven. <laughs> Aaron guy gets it. There's a lot of birds. <laughs> <laughs> you have some big keys, sir. Yeah, night on the Galactic Railroad. It like it says the name of the thing literally in the comic itself. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Oh, I will so stop reading are... right here so I don't spoil myself. No. 
She didn't talk to the bird guy enough. My chair is breaking. Apples. Ringo. <laughs> I thought of the Tower of God Apple. <laughs> Tower God Apple? Apple? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Isn't that a character in the Tower of God called Apple? Oh, I mean, there is, yeah. <laughs> Isn't she like a side side character? No. She is the one who betrayed Kun, so. Spoilers much? Spoilers. My bad. Oh, people. Wait, human? That kid has a huge forehead. Why, head. why does he head. have to sit here? Plot. Oh my god, it's... Is that actually Rico? <laughs> oh! Oh shit, it actually is the Titanic. Titanic. Yeah. I like how neither of them question the fact that the other person is different. Oh... Well, they're not racist. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Their eyes do not differ between race. <laughs> they don't see cats and people. <laughs> yeah, that was the Titanic. They did show like the sink, the sink, the ship that was already sunk. The sink. In the, yeah. <laughs> in the last scene, but now they're showing it actually oh. happening. And then we just randomly hear my heart will go on start playing. <laughs> It is very sad. That's idiotic. Yeah, so she's like, well, guess we'll just all die together. <laughs> Basically.
Not sure if I agree with that. Yeah, it's an interesting concept, but... He is not wearing any socks, a sinner. <laughs> he deserved to die. <laughs> I mean, you're kind of late on that one, Kiwi. <laughs> and he didn't know he didn't have any socks. <laughs> <laughs> no, Penguin drove flashbacks. <laughs> no, don't share it. <laughs> no, do share it. That was <laughs> that was the takeaway. Wait. No, if we have to lose somebody, let's lose only one person, all right. <laughs> I think there is a, um, <clears throat> what's it called, in the Bible where I think Jesus was passing out fish or something and he could duplicate them. Mm. Wait, fish, I thought it was bread. I don't remember. <laughs> My brain assumes fish. <laughs> Everything is fish after all. <laughs> Apple smell I don't know um I have sinus problems so I literally can't smell anything me either <laughs> You guys are weird. You guys are seriously weird. Says the weirdest one out of all of us. I can smell everything completely fine. Thank you very much. You're telling me apples have a scent? Yeah, they do. They smell really fruity. I know, like, what apple candles smell like. The apple candles smell don't apple smell candles. anything like apples. It's one of the few, like, things that I can smell. Yeah, um, apple candles don't smell like apples. That's a shame. I like apple candles. You know that skin on apples that has, like, that really leaf kind of fruity smell to it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys are weird. Making fun of the fact that I can't smell. It was completely normal to be able to smell apples. <laughs> Wait, what? Can you call me a sociopath? Wait, the birds are apples. <laughs> uh, I hate apples. <laughs> <laughs> Kiwi will never look at an apple the same way ever again. <laughs> So that's how apples are made. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, how are apples made? <laughs> well, the birds fly into the trees and <laughs> <laughs> they morph into apples. Wait, so where are you, Mommy or Daddy? Uh, what? I don't think that's the important part here, but sure. <laughs> I hate their eyes. Why are their eyes like that? <laughs> Perpetual just, surprise, oh, Pikachu. Surprise, yeah. <laughs> you just look traumatized. But you didn't say <laughs> no, he died right. in the Titanic. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, 
<laughs> your excuse. Why do you keep on saying excuse me, Zero? That's not like you. <laughs> well, Corn. we're not watching a movie that's like me. <laughs> it's some low res corn. Pretty corny, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Stop me at the porn station. That's Kiwi's favorite station. <laughs> I only like cooked corn, okay? With a little bit of salt. You, know, you can't have cooked corn without cornfield. That's a you big pen pendulum. Floating clock. This station looks like it's shaking because of the like oh never mind, it's just me. Is that just it means station corn? What? It is like station miso, which I know like maize means corn. Oh, yeah, it was just a New World Symphony? What's that? Uh, they're talking about the song that's playing in the background. Yeah. But... This kid's What's outfit that? looks like the Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. I was thinking Ooh. he looks like Olaf from Frozen, but that's fine as well. Why do you think <laughs> he looks like a snowman? Because he has no, like I can see the snowman too. It's like the 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 snow color <laughs> with the like black buttons. I <laughs> yeah. Fine. It's fine <laughs> to me. I, I stopped myself for half of it. I walk right into the other. Ah. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, We're back. The, we are back. The balls. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't that oh, it's little Giovanni. Giovanni? That must be his house. Why he's so little? I know him, Mo. <laughs> Giovanni's turned into a cow, okay. Was he, no, it was Campanella. No, did he say boo? I don't remember. Campanella said boo. Campanella said boo. <laughs> I think oh, here we go. Teams. The flame of Scorpio. <laughs> Red dot. Then they they didn't he didn't burn to death. He's still burning to death. Oh no, Grim, what have you done? I assume that's forming the constellation Scorpio, but I don't actually know what the constellation Scorpio looks like. It looks like a Scorpio. Yes, thank like you, Kiwi. If you, if you, 
<laughs> if you took a pen <laughs> and threw it over a drawing of a scorpion, that's how a scorpion constellation would look like. A stick figure with a long tail. <laughs> mm. I, oh, oh. He oh he's gone well. I guess he must have killed a lot of people he's Scorpio mm. oh that's my conclusion See, this is what a Scorpio looks like yeah, yeah it's Scorpio. really obvious. <laughs> it is obvious. What do you mean? Christmas trees. Christmas trees. <laughs> Oh, this was the festival. Yeah. Mm. The surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> I can't get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Their celebration is slowly walking in a circle. Mm, pretty much. Everyone's leaving. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Excuse me? What? Oh, I hear it now. <laughs> I hear it. I just oh, it's in it. the background. <laughs> okay, this is just like, what? Christian church song. <laughs> oh, this is a Christmas song. <laughs> this kind of just... I'm not gonna lie, this kind of seems like a parody. But it's actually being serious. Mm -hmm. I feel like all older movies are very like on the nose with that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that... I just noticed that... Um, <laughs> Nilla's like mark on the nose looks kind of like a dick. <laughs> what? No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it looks like a wine glass. No, it doesn't. I think it looks like a nose. You two are weird. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, I think oh. this is Zero, really can a you pause for a second? I have to close the doors. <laughs> All right. If that was to heaven, then where's Capanella going? I mean, that's the second cross we've seen. I don't, is there more than one, like... I, I don't know. 
Maybe well, I mean, they did say health. that uh, that Giovanni's ticket could get him anywhere to true heaven or whatever they were saying. <laughs> the coal sack. That does not seem like a good place. <laughs> we should have got it off on the last stop, not gonna lie. What? Aren't you just talking about a. <clears throat> Dark hole. <laughs> what a lovely field. <laughs> This is... what? Excuse me? <laughs> Giovanni's like, uh... <laughs> My dude. I don't think this is a good place to be. Hex again. <laughs> <laughs> Random lap. Oops. <laughs> and ironically being funny with my checking again. Happened I was gone. Oh my god, I just think <laughs> about like, go all chip toony. <laughs> I just think of Ace and Luffy because of Luffy's voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, even more surprised Pikachu face. I'm surprised is that this anime hasn't been mimed the share out of. <laughs> Well, it's probably just us that meme about it. If other people take it really seriously. Sadly we have the lack we have the incapability of doing so. <laughs> we can't be serious even if we try. <laughs> now this just reminds me of Penguin Drum and all those scenes they showed uh Anba walking down a dark path away from Shoma. Yeah. You are not my brother anymore. <laughs> but we were supposed to be together like family. Oh. Oh no, I must crush them. <laughs> By far my favorite character. And the credits and for you're... the film roll. What? <laughs> We need some sort of conclusion here first, Kiwi. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! You are too late. I know that should be taken seriously. <laughs> Explosion! No. No. <laughs> The Dark River. It was all a dream. Hey. 
Life is but a dream. <laughs> but I do think Cabanella actually did drown. Yeah. I I uh... Oh man. I still have a bad feeling something's still gonna mm -hmm. happen here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah, so the thing that I wanted to say was, um, as the movie went on, we see, like, a bunch of scenes, and then all of a sudden someone would join the boat, which was basically kind of, like, telling us, oh, yeah, so this person died here. Like, in this town, in this place, this is where they died. That was what I kind of thought, because they showed, they showed their city when Campanella showed up. Yeah. And then also the Titanic whole thing was shown and when yeah. the guy with the they drowned or the herring or whatever. Mm. And once again, this ties back into the heart of the scorpion. It also ties into Penguin Drum of why Kanba was the one who had it. Kamba wasn't the one with it, though. It was Shoma. It was Shoma. Hmm? And I probably mm -hmm. didn't watch the Shoma. right penguin drum. <laughs> Shoma's the one who burst into flames. Kamba was the one who broke into glass. Yeah. We're mm. just casually spoiling penguin drum. <laughs> I should maybe put a penguin drum spoiler at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> 45 minutes? Yeah, I... Hmm. Yeah, so Act Age basically spoils this whole ending and the whole conflict that Campanella had. Hmm.
Yeah. Like half of the time, it seems like Giovanni isn't even listening to what people are saying. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, well, <laughs> there you have it, I guess. He didn't actually drown. He became a mermaid and swam off into the deep sea. <laughs> That's Kiwi's fanfic. <laughs> I thought he would spit into the milk. <laughs> Why? What? Why? <laughs> I don't know. That was just the first thing that I saw. I think you lost all semblance of sanity, Huey. <laughs> oh, look at him go. <laughs> It kind of just reminds me of like Halloween music. I don't know why. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. <laughs> Who's the composer for the show? I want to see. Ugh, I still have the page open. I can look. Mm. Music. Halloween. Osono. And that's how it ends. He's got five credits. There's like Night at the Galactic Railroad. He did theme song for some weird old thing. Music for some weird old thing. Music for Appleseed Saga X Machina. And then <laughs> theme song composition for Maria Hollick's ED. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Twenty two months. I wonder if this is notes of the author. I have no idea. Potentially notes from the author. That's what it seemed like. You know, now I understand why Penguin Drum is so weird. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this is very abstract. Yeah. I think I really liked it, but it was really slow, so I had trouble focusing. <laughs> oh, that's true. But, you know, that's why we watch it with friends. Yeah, and I'm I glad loved watching it. I didn't find it all that slow. I think if I watched I just, it on my own, I would have struggled to finish it. But I'm glad here. that I did. So, 
because I did enjoy mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Can't relate. Can't relate whatsoever. <laughs> I really enjoyed this. This well, was Kiri's I, an I enjoy really enjoyed her. it. Yeah. Yeah. No, Kiri's I really just enjoyed an enjoyer it. of slow shows. Oh, Kiwi, look, I'm, now it I'm actually begins. <laughs> mm. I honestly don't really know what to say. <laughs> it's, uh... I don't know either. It was it was a really good movie that had a solid conclusion. I that was going to say, I feel like from... for as abstract as it was, it was actually pretty straightforward. Yeah. It, seem like. yeah. it gives you a solid thing that you can make a conclusion with and it has a solid conclusion but it still leaves you kind of with a question of and like who is the one is dad was he on the train because it seems to imply that his dad daddy died i think he probably like his boat wrecked like the titanic or something yeah yeah mm. you think because we watch a lot of stuff like this like seeing like the bubbles at the beginning it's like we could tell pretty clearly obviously Giovanni, or not Giovanni, uh, Campanella had drowned. I feel like they did a lot of like symbolism and stuff like that. That it's like it's really clear and easy to pick up since we knew to look for it. I mean, if you didn't get it from the very beginning, the, throughout the whole movie, it was like telling you, oh yeah, this guy drowned. How do you know? Like the first stop that they stop at is a river like island, then the Titanic. And then they also show you a guy drowning <laughs> in the very beginning. Like, well, and like all the symbolism they show, like with the lilies and like the heron and all that, it kind of had to do with the ham itself, like departure and passing on. And like it, it all was basically just being like, this is like, um, what's it in a, is it Greek or Roman mythology? The ferryman who like chauffeurs yeah. the souls. Mm, essentially, this is kind of what this train was. Okay, this will be kind of a really big stretch, but could it be that like uh, Giovanni's journey through like a train is kind of him going through the grief of losing a close friend? He didn't know that Campanella was dead at the time. Yeah, that's why it kind of gave me very much that penguin drum. Like this is all metaphorical and abstract and symbolic, but it is actually happening, right? <laughs> yeah, because Campanella did actually drown and die. It just so mm-hmm. happened that Giovanni is having a dream where he explored the galaxy with his best friend. He just so yeah. happened to be dead along with a bunch of other dead people on a train that went to the end of the galaxy and delivered his friend off into nothingness. Like, couldn't Campanella just have been able to go to a nice place where all the other people went? To Campanella, it seemed nice. Well, yeah, he did say the fields of true heaven. Maybe that is what they were suggesting there and why like Giovanni did a double take like you sure dude this is the field of true heaven <laughs> okay <laughs> what do we like, say man that was the like purest double take I've ever seen I know right <laughs> he just slowly turns back stares at <laughs> Campanella then turns back again hmm yes I see <laughs> That's the most personality Giovanni had throughout the whole movie. Um, Giovanni is so cute, I love him. (laughs) Maybe, like, it's seen differently from the people that are actually dead. Maybe Giovanni was not supposed to see it yet, and thus he was unable to see it. That does make sense, because it was shown to us as a uh, dark hole, and dark holes suck up all light, so you would be able to perceive it. Yeah, and after that destination called the, like... I'm putting dark river, <laughs> which is dark coal mine or something. No, I oh. definitely called it the, um, the the word that must not be spoken, river. Yeah. <laughs> like um, Actually, and then after, it coal sack? and then yeah, and then it was after, it was from the coal sack, and then in there it definitely said. Uh, and then after it happened, he returned back to the village. I don't know what the triangles represent. <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea. That has I'm pretty sure this whole movie. <laughs> it's just aliens. Uh, that's my takeaway. I mean, I don't know what the cross means either. That yeah, seems if like it's, some obscure symbolism. If it if it's whole, if it's like Christian focus, maybe the Holy Trilogy. Oh, made my model mad. I don't know how long. The I'm Holy Trilogy. <laughs> it's it's the Triforce. That's what the triangle stands for. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's kind of gay. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kiwi. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can agree with Kiwi on that theory. That it's just uh, Giovanni. It's not Giovanni's time yet, so he can't perceive it the way that Campanella perceives it. And well, that's a happier also, and Campanella. I, I like yeah. Campanella even a happier thing. <laughs> I know, right? Campanella this is even, just subtle copium. <laughs> Campanella even uh, says that his mother probably saw that. So he said that it, his mother that, was there. That was where his mother was. Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Then that even makes more sense. It even makes more more my theory correct. I mean, I feel like it's a pretty basic theory. I want to think more. Can you go I'm back not... to the dialogue? They said when, uh, when Campanella drowned. Campanella? Why are you calling Campanella? It's Campanella. <laughs> no, I didn't. What? They were saying like how the other kid fell in and. Yeah, the other kid fell in and Campanella jumped in after him. Yeah, this is very. So he sacrificed himself to save the, the other kid. Yeah, which is why I was saying Heart of Scorpion, but. Uh, I guess it's Giovanni who promises to be like the Scorpion in the end. I mean, Kampa like... did sacrifice himself in a way, but not like literally, but more so like, oh, I will sacrifice my little being in my own like family life for the sake of uh, Himari. So basically he did sacrifice himself, but not just like literally like Campanella did. Well, it's not like they like a hard comparison to each other. It's inspired yeah. by, but... Clearly took a lot of inspiration from. <laughs> yes. Very yeah. clearly. Even the character design. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to, like, watch some, like, people talking about this movie. Because I feel like there is more. And then we can make a podcast discussion about our findings. I mean... <laughs> the elusive podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The one that will never be made, but we keep alluding to. You were saying how abstract this felt. And yet, like, the presentation was very blunt. It's just that the imagery that they showed was very abstract and a little hard to interpret. Yeah. Like, the birds turning into apples. Like, yeah, sure, I know exactly what that means. <laughs> right? And, like, the herons mm -hmm. turning into candy. Yeah, that's uh, obvious. I guess it's sort of like the evolution of cinematography, in a way. Where you can see, like, older films are just a lot more blunt in the way they present things mm -hmm. uh whereas well, newer like films like build upon lot. that and find new ways mm -hmm. new creative ways to show what they're trying to get across yeah. instead of just presenting it 100 percent. like this definitely has a lot of just old cinematography to it which like the whole like modern movies don't linger on a shot for very long they yes. change very quickly <laughs> we linger on shots for a very long time in this movie yeah <laughs> There were a lot of uh, interesting bits of dialogue here with some things that I did agree with, some things that I didn't agree with, but, you know, I don't know. I'm not Christian. I mean, this is a super old movie, okay? You can't judge it by its pushy Christian Christian beliefs, okay? You know, for being uh -huh. actually very Christian, it didn't feel very, like, preachy or, like, in your face. Yeah, it felt more like they presented... Uh, that particular character's viewpoint on stuff it's just so happens to be like tied into what their religious beliefs are and not in a way that yeah. you know, tries to teach yeah. you that christianity is good stuff like that this isn't a christian it's movie like, it's an educational see, I movie up, i grew up in like <laughs> this is super super christian family yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. most christian media about. is very very like hitting you over the head with it <laughs> so it's yeah. actually like really nice to see just kind of like a a subtle just like just showcasing of like the concepts and the symbolism and the ideology behind it without being like this is the entire point this is your only takeaway right yeah <laughs> it was more just like it's a interwoven way into the story the ideas of it without being yeah <laughs> all that it is <laughs> yeah yeah i'm the i'm the same i grew up in a really christian house household and i went to school where religious wait wait where religion christian religion is actually like a main subject that you get graded in and mm -hmm. if you were of if you weren't Christian, then you would just sit outside while all your classmates would be <laughs> in the middle of their religious teachings. <laughs> so I got all, I got told often what that guy said as a kid, like, oh, if 
If you die, you go to heaven. If you're good, you go to heaven. You should believe. You should pray. <laughs> every night. Be good. Yeah. Don't go against God. No. <laughs> well, actually, when you bring Toby. up going against... Um, once again, we did see many shots of Giovanni going against the crowd in the beginning yeah. sections of this movie. What relevance would that have exactly? Mm. Does it just simply represent Giovanni's different way of seeing things? I could. I also think because at that point, the like the festival was the celebration of the stars, and it was the night that Campania had died. So it's like I felt like it was kind of showcasing how Giovanni wasn't a part of that. Just like on the train, mm. he wasn't dead. He didn't belong there. I don't know. Yeah, and he didn't also, belong there, but Gio he had a ticket. Uh, Giovanni, mm. Giovanni yeah, he was allowed to view. <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni gets bullied because his dad is not there, right? Mm -hmm. So the way that Hashtag I would take relatable. away... <laughs> the way that I would take away, like, Giovanni going against the crowd more so... is more so him, like, being... I forgot what I wanted to say, never mind. Well, he felt Thank like you, an Kiwi. outsider because of it. I'm very <laughs> sorry, I had, like, this great thought in my mind that I wanted to say, but then I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. gone. Like the wind. All right, I think yeah, that I think pretty that's much most sums of my up. thoughts on it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to it wasn't as big of a discussion this, as we expected it to be. Oh, never mind. Well, <laughs> if we wanted, <laughs> if you wanted to discuss more about this, this is probably the section where we'd have to go and do in-depth research, which is not yeah. something that we would do after the initial reaction, of course. <laughs> mm. Of course, but, I'm going to go into research like I did for a pretty much detective club. Yeah, that's just kind of the thing that we do now on this channel. I do feel like this show kind of deserves it, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What you were mm. saying, the pretty white detective club doesn't deserve it. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that doing it for every single show is just like doing in-depth research about Iruma is probably not going to be very productive. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't like that kind of show, so it is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, I get you. <laughs> but I think uh, the last thing that we can do here is give a rating for the movie. Uh, anybody who wants to go first, go ahead. Yeah, I want to go 10. first. <laughs> I, I'm rating it like 8.5 out of 10. That's what I give it to, actually. <laughs> Simply <laughs> because... Their eyes creep me out, so I can't look at them for a long time. <laughs> That's from the really eyes. Slow, and it like like I said, if we weren't uh, watching it together, me, I probably wouldn't have been able to finish it. Yeah, for, for, yeah. Okay, for me, I I I love for me, I love the slow part. Okay, mm -hmm. like I said at the beginning, I would find it boring, but I still love the slow part of it. Yeah, well, I'm not I, saying that like that's a bad thing. Just for me personally, I struggle to watch really slow paced things. But that's why I like, um, I'm glad so we yeah, watched it I'm, together, so I did watch all of it, because I really did enjoy it. Yeah, and I like not being, not being able to watch slow... <laughs> not being able to watch slow things is not a relatable thing to me, because I really love slow, burn, slow burns, yeah? <laughs> I love it when they set up everything up, and it becomes a really slow burn show for me to enjoy mm -hmm. and just kind of take in. It's not because of that, like, it has such a high rating for me because it is such a slow burn movie. The lower ratings come from simply the animation part even though it's i know it's old and stuff i know i am aware well, like a lot of the it to have to too, even the pacing is because it's older <laughs> yeah 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 and also the music was really <laughs> creeping me out and giving me really bad vibes which is supposed to do but i didn't like it the music here in the show is not something i would listen to after the movie a bunch of times so this is the reason i'm giving it an 8.5 out of 10. i still enjoy it yeah. <laughs> personally for me i would have to say a 7 out of 10 which i think is yeah. a pretty generous score for me as an editor I will have to say though <laughs> that uh, it kind of really irked me. I really wanted to make a cut sooner than this, but yeah. I also like yeah. You you can say what what you want, but I do appreciate how like having lingering shots can build atmosphere, especially mm -hmm. with good ambient noises. I think it um, just is too much because like if it yeah. were done like here and there, it could be like a really dramatic effect. 
but mm. with every shot being super drawn out. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I agree with Serby is that if I was watching this alone, I probably would have already fallen asleep by now. But I mean, we can crack a few jokes here and there in between to fill in the gaps and still enjoy the story for what it is. Mm -hmm. I do. I really enjoyed the story and the, the the way that they're telling it is really interesting and fun. I give it props for being unique, very mm -hmm. original, and for yes, yes. utilizing lots and lots of symbolism, <laughs> presenting it in a way that blatantly shows us the symbolism, but doesn't give us the answer to that symbolism. And yeah. for older media, I think that's fine. Uh, I can mm -hmm. appreciate it for what it is, and I really enjoyed the message of the movie, and I can also enjoy how it inspired greater works than this, such as Penguin Drum, yeah. and probably other series, like Act Age, which I didn't know of. Oh, but, I, yeah. I mean, Act Age got cancelled because the well, author didn't a, see with children. Yeah. But, that's you know, a different reason. Uh, that didn't I, have I anything still, to do with this movie. <laughs> I, I still I still love Arctic for what it is. I really enjoyed reading it and I love rereading it. So I'm kind of sad that an author did an oopsie before he finished the series. <laughs> well, all right. Apart from that, I'm just glad that I w got to watch something that I yeah. would consider to be like a classic. Uh, mm, in the yes. same way that I would consider JoJo's to be like uh, a classic that inspired a lot of offshoot anime uh so mm -hmm. much so that you can see like direct references to that show this show i believe is similar except yeah. it's just that it's harder to see in other shows because of the abstract nature of what's presented so in those when shows it it, it's also kind of... abstract and yeah. it's just hard to yeah. spot but yeah maybe yeah. we'll see it more in the future when we watch more anime it's definitely one of those where it's like I'm glad to have it under my belt. I'm glad that I watched it, right? Yeah. It's it's a cool kind of background to have to pull from now. Yeah. But it, it was a little hard to get through. <laughs> it, it's yeah, not a movie I, that I I'm going to be rewatching. That's for sure. Yeah, no. It's a reason I don't think you guys would like Princess Kaguya. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get to it when we get to it, if we ever get to it. But... That's it from us, guys. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and if you, if this is two hours into the recording, if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see thank you guys you in the next one. Later, bye, dudes. bye, bye.